down it's easy to let go cause every time i reach you stand in the row lift me with helium fill me with oxygen oh you are everything that keeps me breathing when i'm up too high i'll always be all right because i know that you are me with helium, fill me with oxygen, oh you are everything that keeps me breathing. When I'm up too high, I'll always be alright, because I know that you are by my side, you are my life support, my respiration, oh you are everything that keeps me breathing. Good morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. <clears throat> so I've been thinking that the uh, the score hookup is going to be a bit of trouble, and I'm not even I'm not even completely sure it's necessary. Hmm. Okay, save settings. Oh, okay, so I haven't even committed this yet. No, I already put this on a branch. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Well, it makes that easy. <sighs> so I had an idea about how to give some sense of song selection. <clears throat> it's a bit not super clear right now. So there's the wiggle. That probably showing kind of an overall curve. That might be the curve based on... Well, it's not actual score selection. That must be the... Maybe that's the speed curve? Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm drawing there anymore. But we have some like sine wave variation to mix it up. <clears throat> that slowest speed. So that's setting a floor based on, which is the small dash. 
Uh, so we have a sort of minimum speed as we go through. And <clears throat> set the music. And the harder, easier is the top line, which is sort of an upper limit on the difficulty. I've forgotten exactly where I was. When we started. Fifty seven actually seems quite low. So we're kind of doing two different limits on two completely different metrics. I mean, there's some correlation there. Faster songs tend to be harder. Uh, but two dimensions are something we can graph. And there's kind of some dead space over here, although that's where the camera would be if I was still streaming this. Oop. Uh, once upon a time I did have a graph over there. I don't know if I even kept that code. Man, I started out the morning good, but now I'm just like running. Graph predictions, graph data, graph data overlay, <clears throat> graph the flow, graph weight. Graph the steps, flow weight predictions, mental graph predictions. Maybe it was the curve graph. No, that's a different kind of curve graph. One thing I used to have was like a, I've forgotten the technical name of it. It's uh, you take a single dimension or a single data item, you sort it, and then you do like one graph is just index and the other in is the value. Uh, so you, you end up with a kind of a shape there of that data. I was doing that for like my overall score distribution. But I never ended up looking at it. Okay, so we have some hooks for doing some kind of general graph thing. I don't know that I have the the code for that one particular weight by play count. You know, something different. Model factors. Data debug. And I think we're back to the top. So, the, yeah, I think they must have completely removed that code. Uh, it seems I no longer have the code to position that graph in that side of the screen. So, that would be like um, some sort of like a title or cover image. Okay, no. Uh, player options, total stages, stage. Right? Left, center. I think this is for like data dumps. Model, model, graph. There's the curve graph over our main area. Song list. 
<clears throat> banner. Low free. Okay, so that is the song list. <clears throat> There's our main overlay graph. There's the banner. Picker. Hmm. Song, song list. This is banner, which positions itself, banner column. See you. Well, actually, there's like it's an element that sort of positions itself here. Uh, what do we call this? Screen width minus 40, screen width minus 50. Is that insets? Oh, was that actually some math? That's math.min. Okay, so X, Y, that's not going to be a center. That has to be some sort of inset. Well, this is a different graph than I thought. Okay, so it's like full size, but it's kind of centered over there. So, banner column. I don't even try something like that. And this is the minimum of. I don't know what a bit what our banner column width is. Is there some sort of um, scale to fit? Screen height 0.2 screen screen height. No small screen height. So I don't know what the screen width is. to that copied line there. Uh, 
Okay, that is too far down. That's like way too far down. The rest of it's pretty good though. It's almost like, that's like the top edge. Hmm. Oh, it's got a label, and the label is a little bit cut off. Oh, that is actually also the the title. <clears throat> get child model, get child graph. So you're a different graph. <laughs> So that's frame model. <clears throat> so this would just be get child selection graph. Uh, and this is actually assigning a variable that gets used elsewhere, <clears throat> sort of grabbing the element. I believe. Yeah. Help text, some things, things, banner sprite. <clears throat> actually put something on there. It's a graph clear. All songs. Notes per second rating. Yeah, this is some older stuff because it's still using that high score. I would want to do maybe possible steps to start with. Graph predictions. Well, there is our steps. <laughs> Graph set point. This is assuming the master graph. Graph data, that's going to be like a single item. Graph flow. And we're back to graph steps. Incremental graph predictions. Oh, it wasn't a wrap. I think this might actually be the closest. In terms of what we want to do. Um, hmm. 
Turn and reuse. Uh, do you need theta? Oh, uh, you're actually calculating a predicted value. Um, I think we actually store that once it's calculated. I don't think color is going to be a thing here. Although I guess I'm going to need a color. Since that is an argument. What is, okay, so you would have like color dot white, color dot black. That's why we're doing some custom colors here for the ones that fall outside of bounds. All right, so we've got, <clears throat> what do we call it? Is there like a, did we do a value that's like effective score? If cell dot score, okay, so we should have an effective score. And I guess it'd be notes per second. Uh, which axis is which? We've got one graph that has actual score and estimated score. Actual scores on the bottom, and this is gonna be kind of a little bit of both. Maybe think of this, of a, of a score as being a more of a vertical axis. So this would have to get called. Uh, probably after perform either as part of or after. There's a set view. It's not doing a whole lot directly. Set line on. Well, that's just a bump. Just perform pick. Assign score. I guess I was doing a lot of graphing here. Display selection for current stage. For now, it's just possible steps. I might want to do selection snapshot. Okay. That was a total failure. And that is a heavy outlier too, wow.
Oh, uh, did you have to pass the graph? Oh, it's, this is just the graph. That's not the right one. Oop. Attempt to index a nil value. Is it not selection graph? <laughs> Should be frame two. Maybe it's not an immediate child? Oh, it was selection space graph for the string. Oh, okay. Are we in a level here? Actor frame picker. Oh, this is uh, this is going to be a child of flow display. Were you capitalized? Yes. Okay, I must have been assuming already normalized data. I think one of my other graph functions uh, always normalizes things, but that's... Huh, huh. Is graph data able to do multidimensional? Yeah, that's just, that's, that's single dimensional. <clears throat> so effective score actually is zero to one. That's, oh, you know what? Actually, I probably do want score in the other dimension because that's going to correlate better with this stuff. Uh, notes per second, I mean, we can do a, a hack on this, but really, I probably need to normalize that. Is that a negative notes per second, or are we placing stuff in the wrong spot? <laughs> Oh, those are predicted negative scores for extremely fast songs. And apparently some things actually do have notes per second zero. <laughs> yeah, so this is interesting because this is a very... Well, a lot of this is probably predicted space. This is like super linear until you just kind of hit my timing accuracy limit. I'm not sure how to re represent that in the model. <laughs> I mean, probably that would be some kind of curve, but I'd have to, I'd have to think about what that function is and what the actual dimensions are in terms of orientation. That's the overall selection space. Now, this is going to have some special decorations. <laughs> hmm. 
What? What up? What's up? Yeah. Back to hacking on Step Mania. Uh, I'm trying to get something that can better visualize uh, the fact that I'm using two things on different scales to pick songs. It's like a um, open source like DDR type thing. So that's like the autoplay, autoplay mode. So this is, well, I used to call it my winter exercise program. I haven't had as many reasons to go out bike riding uh, this year, so I've still been doing it. Uh, yeah, pad. And then I did a custom thing, because I would always kind of hit songs in the same order, and like I can hit the warm-up and cool down at the same point. Uh, so I did a thing that tries to shuffle that up and get least least played things a bit. And then I also did a linear model of a whole bunch of attributes uh, that, that the game has data on to scores for the things I haven't played. I, right now, like, uh, actually, um, this one looks like a, I don't have an actual score. Actually, this one doesn't have an actual score either for this difficulty. So it's estimating I'll do an 83 and an 82. The red one is um, a very, at this point, very arbitrary rescaling of the of the speed. So the ones over here are fast and the ones over here are slow. So yeah, and yeah, and then the white is the actual scores. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, my arms don't get nearly as much exercise. Maybe that'd be something to look into. But, um, I have this multi-selection thing where it's, I want, like, a minimum speed as we get into, like, mid-game. Mid uh, but also a maximum score, so we don't have things that it, I just can't hit at all. Uh, but those are not on the same scale. So what I'm trying to do is get a graph of those two things and then have, like, cutoff lines that show what we're excluding. And then maybe see something about actually showing uh, what things in those ranges actually got passed over so I can get a better sense of how it's picking stuff. So, so far with this, I've been kind of using kind of like library functions I've built up before. Now we have to get to actually drawing new shapes. Return def actor frame. Oh. We have to do overlays on this. Well, I could probably just have shape. Well, the problem is there wouldn't be children. And the only way I know, and there is a updated reference that I can look at here, see if there's maybe I missed something. This would be like an actor frame. Oh. I can just do length of array plus one equals blah. 
Well, I don't know if I can do that dynamically because this is like returning it. Uh, I want to try this now. Because I got this tiny little thing. It's just doing this on a whole separate file. Uh, so we've got a self. Data, well, data is our data container. But if you're an actor frame, this says we can do data next entry equals. And everything just works. Okay. Cool. Um, data add add. You, uh, you almost want to be a method. Okay, so now, the, now here's the problem. Well, I can just do some interactive commits, I guess. Uh, now you are add point. This is making sure that when we set a point that that index actually exists. So it won't be add point. No. Uh, have to be at least self. Oh. Hmm. So you need that elsewhere. You need to have a reference to it. <clears throat> but we're never going to create the point anywhere but that. So at the risk of being a little bit wasteful. Wow, two at once. All right, point dot Lua is gone. So, uh, where are you? Graphics. Uh, I think song list item is. Oh, yeah, that's actually involved. And then pause menu. We're kind of you know, it's actually involved. That one was always the the, the thing that bothered me a little bit. Like, is this really the only way to do it? And apparently it's not. Uh, run command. Add child from path. That's the only, like, function to do it because it's a bit more involved. 
So I was probably looking at the function names. Uh, did I leave this up? I did not leave this up. Okay, so that's removed. This is new stuff. This is other stuff. This is other stuff. That's other stuff. Okay, we've learned a new trick. Uh, this also tells us how we can add <clears throat> things onto here. Uh, so these were methods, but these are the like pretty common things. But this is really just a reference to the graph actor. So this same kind of thing, mm, I don't want to get you as a as a point though. You're gonna be an, an, another kind of decoration. Uh, you're not going to be a point. You are going to be a... We're going to have two of them. Uh, one of them is going to be like... And what's your size going to be? Well, I think this is within the size of the graph. So you're going to be on our y-axis... So your x dimension is going to be 1. Your y dimension is going to depend on settings. So we're just going to do something temporary. And your x, y... I think it's x, y? Is going to be centered there and... It's going to be for very high values of it. Uh, so 25 is an awkward thing. Let's do um, 2 and then like 9, 5. Uh, oh, I, I probably need to um, set colors and things too. Uh, da, 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 add point, create point. Ah, uh, diffuse x y blah blah blah. Oh, I I might have an inversion of coordinate system here. Diffuse color. Oh, I guess I could, I could be doing that chaining like I did there, but. Diffuse, um, mm, I need to do some alpha here. I know I did some alpha in song list item. I've seen my background too. Okay, so alpha around a color with a factor. Uh, 
I guess I was using red for that elsewhere. Oh, nope, that has ruined everything. Wait. Did that ruin everything, or did I have some kind of delayed effect from my other change? Uh, why don't block comments work? Maybe I've got the syntax wrong. The uh, editor likes it. That's 1.3, but I don't think that changed. Ah, okay, it is backwards. It was treating that as something. Maybe it's from like an array or... Okay, uh, shoot. I swear I tested that and it was fine. Well, no, get... Actually, this is head now. So was it that thing? Why did it work? I wonder if... the point file was, like, still cached or something? Okay, no, I need to just, I need to just drop that. Reset head hard, head minus one. Maybe we try again. Oh, now you work. Okay, so. I uh, got some of that stuff stashed. Point dot Lua is back. Self add point. Data, data plus one equals. Okay, so this was maybe this wasn't the thing I was actually using for most of my most of these were set data and it was actually doing this. So we've actually got to hit all of these. At first there's that. Okay, so that does not work. Well, that's a bummer. So that's only when you're first setting up the frame. You can't just come along and add stuff to it later. Oh, is um, data an actor frame? Actor frame name data.
actor frame is a def at actor frame. I guess that's only on initialization. Hmm, what about Did they do any dynamics with this? So actor frame is mostly going to, okay, so background equals local T. Yeah, so there's a TT plus one. And that's using a load actor rather than the and the other thing. This is still more kind of a load time thing, but this is definitely down a bit. Load the character. Does file exist? Load actor is a little bit different. S circle. You're a brand well, you, okay. You're a brand new actor frame, but you're appending it to this thing. Now this thing is all still all being defined in here, so I don't know if anything really uh, really gets. And then background is that really gets added like truly dynamically. These are all set up and return. What do I even search for? Background equals t equals s circle equals t equals def dot model. But this is still all that t. Def dot actor frame. This is all top level. This is pretty much. Top level initial build, initial build, initial build. Uh, add child from path is our alternate. This might be a question to, I don't know, is there any theming discord or the uh, outfox theming discord? Also, there's people talking at me. Oh, that truck is unreachable. Uh, if there's some bugs, I'm not sure if that counts as a mod. It's more of a theming thing. Oh. There's actually some people talking about something similar like this. Call an action to receive an input. You don't need infinitely loop waiting. Okay, so that's a different thing. 
have used the command with load using add child from path. Default themes avatar picker. Get avatar image array. Get Dur and listing. It's result. Here's just a result. Yeah, this is just the image array. Oh, they, I must have misspelled something before. Oh, geez. Background, underlay, in, out. That's a load actor. That's an empty frame. That's an almost empty frame. There's some there's some stuff. Image grid, uh, image cache. This is a cache though. Image grid, def dot quad. This is all top level. This is the closest thing to dynamic. It's like. Making a new grid, assigning it to that. But this is still like all startup time. Load different scripts. Uh, I guess an actor would be a or a quad would be an actor, right? It's a sprite, which is an actor, yeah. And then we were in actor frame. Uh, load child from path. Uh, I guess I'm not act it's not actually a one line file but it could easily be a one line file. So maybe we'll get some help there. Uh, meanwhile, Um, we can't actually use this technique and we do have to use, I guess I could, mm, if I could rename it, I could still use point, but I might have to have, an extra file for each one of these. Or maybe I can do more experimentation with this technique on the new stuff and then roll it back into here.
Okay, graph selection. All right, so this we think does not work. Yeah, don't see anything. Uh, let's see if we... Does load child actually return it? Return bool. Yeah. So I'd have to give it an, a, a, a unique name to even be able to find it after adding it, and that seems like it's the only way to add it. Uh, yeah, that's not a, that's not a useful answer. Um, no, no, no. That's a file. I wish I could preview this. Okay, that's too much indent. All right, point. Uh, actually, let's undent you for this. Okay, there is a difference. Uh, 
Uh, you don't have, actually, actually, I don't think there's really anything going on here. You don't, oh, okay. What you have is the actor frame. Hmm. Because both can store things, yeah, okay. But yeah, that's only that's only the initial definition. I mean, somewhere something is loading a file and, and running that code, but uh, it is not currently exposed. Okay, well, we're going to have to define an extra file for each one of these things in, each to, to, in order to give them a unique name. Well, the other option here is we don't put it inside the graph. The nice thing about putting it inside the graph is that the graph is kind of scaled and has its own coordinate system. What I specifically wanted to do was to make these things ch children. Uh, the only way to add children is with the external files. Get none children, remove children. Yeah, I don't see any way to manipulate that. Scale, we might be able to manage. Uh, positioning it over, I mean, I've done some similar things with the song item list, because those are a whole bunch of items and I sometimes draw overlays on top. It's kind of a pain to get all the scaling right. So I guess from a least effort perspective, it's annoying, but we can just add things similar to the points. Oh, well, um, so I can grab this and then do all the coordinate stuff here. Uh, and right now it's going to be size, it's going to be XY. Maybe I could eventually put some of this in here, but I don't think I 
Eh, we can we can jump between files. Edit graphics. Now this is actually the exclusion range. And I guess really I just need, eh, it's two exclusion boxes. So with it, they don't have unique names, I can't uniquely identify them. Well, if I add them in a certain order, so that instead of points, it's like overlays or something. And we don't really set anything up. Which means we don't really have an init, init command. And it really is a one-liner. Because once we do that, we can do... Add child. You can do data add child from path box. You know what? We're referencing a lot of this code. We add it twice. We get all the boxes. And then we can say, you know, I think it. Lua goes one to zero. One is notes per second, and one is the other thing. I guess I actually deleted all the code I had set up. Set size. Uh, were you the O2? X, Y, 0 0.5, 0 0.95, and didn't have any color. Okay, so it does not like to go back to the same file, so you have to go back and split it again. Diffuse. Uh, this was alpha. No, and probably too much. Uh, and I want to get that one right before I even try doing the other one. <laughs> okay, it doesn't take that well at all. Names, flow DJ, graphics. Did overwrite point. No. Did I say change to box and then not? Uh. Themes, flow DJ. There you are. I forgot to change directories. Or, well, to type the directory. Okay, so that is. No, uh, yeah, that would be, that'd be 0 0.9, not 0 0.95. That other box is really bad. Uh, so I guess we take a swing at it. Um, 
Honestly, I'm not sure which end is going to be on either. Uh, score is alternately white or blue. Because most going to be actual scores. Uh, I want to exclude the zero end of this. No, oh, we reloaded. Uh, so turn slow mode off, please. There's still a giant white box. Oh, because I didn't change the index. Uh, where is my maximum iteration? We can just skip right out of that. Is that right? So those are negative scores based on really, really high notes per second. We are establishing a minimum which is cutting off all the like super, super slow songs where we're just kind of at accuracy limit. Uh, that's cutting off super, super high. So that seems kind of reasonable. Now we want to, want to calculate the actual limits on these things. Uh, the actual limits, uh, er, um, this is completely irrespective of what stage you're on. Um, step one is to get this working for a single stage and then s see if we can do anything reasonable with multiple stages. Uh, is stage just a... You know, we just got floatyj.stage. Graph flow. Uh, so is that the stage we're on? Stage is. Okay, so I must be doing zero based. Or we call it stage one, stage two, stage three. Uh, which I guess this is what stage index returns as well. Uh, or we're using this. No, we're, we're, we're using our own just in case we have to fake it. Um, so that's going to tell us what stage we're on. We song list item is displaying all those lines. That's probably the other meter bar. Wiggle NPS like SP, NPS lower bound is okay. So we've got an NPS bottom and NPS top. Right, you do have an actual range. Do you? That's with the wiggle, but it ends up providing an actual bound. So that's lower bound. We're not using an upper bound. So NPS mark. Oh, I see, I guess that would be lower bound. If get visible and NPS bottom and NPS top. Which one are they graphing? Set size, bound mark, 
NPS scale, NPS lower bound of set selection. There's too many arguments. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's the uh, that's the entire flow. Is this something we're passing around, or is this? No, we should we kind of got a global. Maybe it'd be good to have an argument. Uh, so it's going to be current stage and current flow. Oh, no, that's the flow. What's F? Oh, factor within this stage space, which is what we actually use to actually look up in a flow, because that's a continuous function. And that's the, that's the stage index. So we are going to have to be reproducing what did you say plus one? And it's like, is it current? <clears throat> So that has to get looked up in the flow to find out what the selection parameter was for this round. No. Yes, no. Oh, for the limit. So you've got an NPS bottom and an NPS top. We don't use you. Our actual X is based on flow NPS lower bound. Of our fraction. Uh, see, current is a flag. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. That's I minus one. That's I equals stage plus one. This is going to be more like I equals stage plus one. But then it's I minus one. This is really just I think stages is available. Uh, and this is going to be the NPS bound fraction. No, this is the stage fraction. This is the um, stage progress. Something like that. And then current flow, NPS lower bound of stage progress. 
is the NPS lower bound. Actually, we had to scale that before. Um, you're probably in actual notes per second. which we're just doing divided by 10 right now. Uh, that, that's something else we need to circle back on, perhaps. All right, so that's the red one. So instead of 0.2, hmm. We're just placing this on the graph. Um, the width is going to be equal to that. And the position is going to be 1 minus Oop. You put it on an instant exit. Oh, attempt to exit a nil value. 83. Maybe I do need a parameter for flow. Oh, this is this is defined, but it's defined lower down. So it might not be available. Oh, I did oh no, that was leftover. Okay, so, oh, it's actually, a, on this, on a starter song like this, it's a pretty, it's a pretty small limit. Oh, and some of these images are bigger, too. Hmm. All right, but that is looking kind of about right. And then we want, I guess this would be like a score upper bound. Uh, I probably have a name for this. <laughs> already um nps predicted score actual score score bound uh and that is just a singular score bound never did upper and lower you are probably going to be straight up. So we're going to use score bound, score bound divided by two. Oh, well, yeah. This is this is supposed to, this is supposed to be an easy song on the start here. All right, so hook me up fake mode. I should probably uh, maybe I can do something just to quickly move through stages, but so that's going to be a little bit wider on the difficulty. A little bit less on the slow songs.
What I'm not, I'm, I'm, this, is, this is like everything. I need to look at how do I get like either just the selections or everything that I've at least considered. So yeah, that's continuing to kind of move up. It's like all possible songs. Uh, my experience so far has been that they, if you pick any any given song, it's going to have one of its levels in the selection range. And then you got those couple weird songs that are both too slow and too hard, probably with things with modifiers. All right, we're mid-range, so it's probably going to be about it. And we are, in fact, excluding quite a lot. I'm also going to get some Maxis labels on here. Oh, yeah. for current song, I'm going to mark the current song, or the thing that was actually picked. Uh, I also want to show well, pretty much anything that got passed over. Uh, there should be cooldowns. So we should be starting to slide back a little bit. Oh yeah, that's, well, it's excluding very little, little on speed and quite a lot on score. All right, and then being at the end, I know it was gonna be useful for us as we test here, ooh. Fake play didn't, um, didn't go through the same set of screens. Oh, it probably tried to use the uh, the game stats, which we didn't actually play any rounds. All right, so that's a start. We could show, hmm, can we? Uh, selection snapshot. Ooh, doesn't have the same fields. We reloaded, that's slow mode. Okay, so this is, how many dots? Far, far, that looks like just the actual levels picked. I'd kinda like to show all the difficulty levels for those songs. Uh, I also want to show, well, how would we pick out uh, that? Um, a cheap way to do that. 
or to get close to that. Oh, this is all pairs. I would either want a table function to give me part of a table. Concat, insert, max in, remove. No, not seeing it. Or we do super cheap. I don't know. We're probably using all of them at this point. Uh, actually, not, not just less than 10. Um, we're going to have ti a typical three per thing on the 16 rounds. Call that go without 20-ish, and then that is 60 steps. So there's definitely some off that end, some off that end. A couple options there. Uh, not all of those were up for consideration on round one, though. Um, round one is probably more like three or so. So for that song, there were probably two difficulty candidates. And then I'm not actually associating this with anything in this round. How would I say that a selection was a set of steps? I guess I, had, I guess I had notes per second on this scale, too. Could have gone the other way. Also, uh, what did you actually use for NPS scale? Negative, and that was a multiplier? Now, um, notes per second value times that, right, okay, so inverting direction, 0.09. If it was actually tenth, it would be 0.01? No, be 0.1. So that's actually slightly more. Uh, Does that mess me up down here? One minus lower bound, lower bound set point NPS times, lower bound times. C 
seems to be fine. So we have some kind of steps, which is right now is either the all steps or selections. I'm kind of interested in all steps up to the current song. That would have been considered for the current song. Really, I'm considered. I'm con, I'm concerned with anything that got passed over for the current song. So for a current song thing, this would have to be selection snapshot. Right now we're showing everything. That's setting a point. That's setting a point with a color. So we can, that's a simple thing to fix. Uh, <laughs> where we were doing this. No, where we were doing set selection, we were getting current stage. Uh, maybe I should want to do the default as something else. Uh, what do we have? Red, white, black. Actually, is that going to be like a constant? This is other resources. Oh, um, singletons. Namespaces, enums. Constants. No. <sighs> Effect colors. No, that's an example. I can't follow that. Wait, that's about, uh, no, that's it. Oh, I was using brightness, I guess, uh, to mess with white.
I might also want to change the size of the current one. Now, does that return the point? Uh, not necessarily, because they might have just added one. Well, that doesn't stick out at all. Now, part of that is kind of the aliasing where we got a small point on that one. <clears throat> uh, I think this is a dark green too. Now, of course, one of the theme backgrounds was yellow, so that's not necessarily gonna stick out there. Yes, yeah, so right now we've got a selection that's tending to give me a small point. We could probably do some animation on that. So that is of our actual selections for this round. How would we Pick bootstrap, pick by bounds, sign score, set selections. Display selection for current stage. Well, it's gonna be a does it be, end up being a little bit in all of these? You are going to, well, indeed, this is going to have the rejection information for this method. So this actually doesn't necessarily generalize to other methods. So this is saying picked. Do we ever even This is the min score bottom Okay, we skipped a few. Top 10. This per second one, score 0.79. Oh, bottom NPS, I mean that was too slow. Too low score. So these are all the things we want to record. I want to have. Do I want to, hmm, it's like, there's going to be the thing we end up Selections I equals cell. That's in possible steps. Ooh, so I think I'm technically modifying the list here. I 
Let the true stage number. Oh, so all of my possible steps are going to have selected and stage number in them. And we're recording some information here. I think that's for the drawing step. So what I actually say, I'm going to modify this selection with like skipped. And ones that were never considered would never have skipped. Uh, this is a different selection method, different selection method, reset. Different selection method, different selection method, different selection method. Different selection method. Uh, so graph selection then would take possible steps and Sloan's going to have a stage. I guess really I care about was it selected? Well, current stage. Uh, so that's going to be P. It's going to be... Oh, I'm going to be skipping some of these. It's going to be weird on point number. Uh, let's see. So we're going to have if not cell dot selected and not cell dot skipped. This was assuming stage. Uh, uh, let's rewrite this for a little bit. Actually, I kind of want that color. If cell dot selected, if cell dot skipped. Actually, certain things could be skipped and one is selected in another. Nope, I'm still printing that out. Or I just have it in the log. Okay. Uh, there's a whole bunch of skipped stuff. We just don't know which round it was skipped on.
because I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious, like specifically for this round, how much do we pass over? I don't actually care about the stage too much. I guess something could end up getting skipped on multiple stages. So that would almost turn into a like a skip stage list. Okay, so you've got a stage number. Um, For our selected one, hmm. <laughs> That might be the off by one thing. Since we are on the first stage. Yep, there we go. That's the one's highlighted. I kind of want to know. If I'm looking at this stage, which one's got skipped to get here? Is it bounds? Yes. Uh, so stage is I. Go into stages, and we try to find something. <clears throat> uh, now this is all. Ew, this is not picked. So we're going to skip. Things because they're picked, not because they're out of bounds. I'm going to short circuit that. Uh, uh, we need to do the path. Uh, as soon as we have that, we can short circuit this. Because all that stuff will have been processed already. And the rest of this constitutes an actual out of bounds rejection. Uh, so cell is just a possible steps. We always gonna reset selection, right? Do we have arrays or is it always just tables? I think it's just. I think it's always tables.
this is going to be a table that insert. So then we can say if cell dot skip and thing, thing like this. Uh, mm, can we test for a table member though? Insert max in remove element position sort not easily. Uh, so maybe we do this like you. Okay, missing, 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 missing. Um, that's in pick by bounds. So R. This is a not. Tween overflow. Infinitely recursing actor command. What the heck? <laughs> All right, well, we've got two things going on here. We've got, we change this. And we changed our selection method. Okay, that um, that should not have d done that big a change. Oh no, it was and not. So this actually should be picked path. <laughs> Missing. Oh, we don't have tween garbage. Um, maybe break is... Oh, this breaks out of the wrong thing. Then do nothing, else do this. Is it else if? I guess so. So 
Expected to close function. Um, Nine six one. Do we not do elsifs? Control structures. <clears throat> if then, oh, it is elsif. Uh, I don't know why it didn't highlight. Okay, and then we took out a bunch of conditionals. Actually, I still want to put the four dots there. So we've picked all of these. This actually looks like we're only getting the stuff for this stage. So it looks like it rejected this one, picked that one, and never considered that one. So that's a cool view in terms of the available difficulties for this thing. Um, Is this, is this possible steps? The dot should still be there. Oh, um, I don't want to break here. I want to... Skip this iteration. You can use break to exit a for loop. I don't think we have a next. Okay. Uh, that was the wrong thing. Well, I guess the equivalent is we just do a giant indent. But it's still not enough. This isn't good for these small points.
All right, uh, is this it? EOF expected near end. Oop, that was the wrong thing. Okay, yeah, that's like all the points. Is there some other condition? Because that should be at least, what, 16 of them? What? I mean, there has to be more than that. We've got... 16 picked things here. See, so those would have gotten like all this color. I wonder if one of my colors is messed up. That's even worse. <laughs> what the heck? This isn't selection, this is all this is now steps. What did I do, man? We know not checking this. Uh, does a whole lot of stuff. doesn't do much. Oh, what did I do? This is like a get reset kind of situation, geez. And I've not been doing incremental commits. So now taking that out does it. So, I must not be setting the selected flag. None. Okay, that's all of them. All of them. So we're iterating through everything. Why don't we have selected flags? I don't let me do this on my screen right now.
What else have I changed? Well, that's entirely new, so I don't, I don't have a diff on it. Reset that. Moved you down. Am I doing something that early exits? Right, it blocks duplicates. Okay, we seem to have hit that. Now, are we hitting the same song over and over again? Doesn't look like it. And those look like the things we've got over there. So select that it's being set to true. But we're only getting like two points. Sell.song, song get file path Are my, are my numbers different? Because that's printing all of them. It was the right one, right? Oh, yeah, this is the skipped indexes. Uh, I don't necessarily need to do incremental updates on this one. Although I might have to do something to clear the graph. So that's it. it was, it's the fact that we were able to, to skip things. Is that no reds? Maybe the things got that. No, there should be some difficulties skipped. At the very least. Okay, that's no skipped. Uh, maybe I took that out of. Pick by ba uh, pick by bounds. Yeah, we we took this off. We're trying to debug stuff. Let's put a symbol near then. Ninety five. Just an and. And expected else if. 
So that's only the rejections. Now it's possible that the first one was correct on this. We didn't get a, um, let's knock this down a little bit. No, no, there is one rejection for you. The rest are darn near invisible. Uh, I really, that makes me kind of want to do something like that. Oh no, because that, that was that was a default color. I also want to say if it skipped on this stage, that overrides. Mostly want to see the stuff from this stage. Um, now, if it's another different, yeah, it was never considered for this stage. All right, fake play is on. So you've got some super hard ones that were rejected. I probably don't need bigger points for this graph, though. You got two harder ones that reject it. It's not showing me. I might need to do something to show other difficulties at this level. I don't know where that is. <laughs> I wonder if it's possible to do something to alias into non existence. Now we're just a two harder and one easier. Which could have been different songs. I don't really have any feedback about if it was a different song. Oh, it's possible. I'm thinking it's possible some of those are like one song that only has harder things that like every stage is rejecting. It's just too hard for me. <laughs> Which is kind of the stuff I was curious about. And, and as we advance, we might be picking up more rejections because of that. I got a slower one. And this thing is going to have to re-render if I change settings. Oh, it does. Oh, those are all the rejections from the other rounds showing up as really, really dark points. Didn't see too many of those before. Oh, you know what? This this is all add point. Uh, so we need to do, we do we do need to do a clear here. Uh, and I have a giant box. <laughs> That's not so great. Uh. Uh, no, it's just, it's just graph. Add point, set point, set label, clear. Uh, 
That'll fix some of that. There's no with no point for the selected song. Maybe just alias. Okay, yeah, we, we covered up that, and then another one got selected. That's good. So this gives you a, a little bit better in, in a sense of exactly what these are doing. And then if we go to slowest speed, I mean, it's going to take a while to reach this one. Oh, we're, we're adding up lots and lots of rejections for other songs, though. <laughs> Oh, we actually couldn't couldn't solve for a couple of rounds. So that gives you well. I mean, this is this. I, I can't even play songs this fast. So that makes a certain degree of sense. I'm also wondering if I should have a logarithmic scale for speed. Uh, I was on like two point six before. Because everything is. Well, everything on speed is pretty much down here. For me, difficulty is pretty much all over here. Huh. Where does, uh, where would that put us? Uh, hmm. So the other ones aren't so great for log. And we could probably do something with that. Uh, and then we've also got log of like something around 10. which needs to get flattened. Um, actually, you wouldn't want a log scale to go negative, would you? Is there something different for that? Graphic recommendation. Okay, well, no, there's logarithmic. It's going negative. Maybe it's a semi-log. Oh, this is on a linear scale. On a semi-log. Oh, this is the two different dimensions. There's something called a semi-log. The ordinate or abscissa. Oh, semi-log is one of the one of the dimensions, and then log log. Okay. But we do indeed have negatives issues. From 0 0.1 to 1,000, well, no, it's actually 1. I guess this is the 0 0.1. Where it is going negative. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, not nothing's jumping out as as dealing with log plots for small numbers. Well, I guess the notes per second aren't necessarily small. Some of them are small. Oh. <laughs> So maybe log isn't the function I want. Well, I thought I'd think something about the range, but uh, that does increase infinitely. We're only considered well log of x actually because it's log of ten. Um, I think is the default. I don't know if that's necessarily what um, the Lua log is going to be. Mathematical functions. Natural logarithm log based 10. Mm. So that should be sort of good for notes per second. But some of them are less than one. Uh, that's logarithms for you. <laughs> okay. But that would be one to two. That would cover most of it. And that would actually work for the notes per second. Maybe the logarithmic scale would be off. It wouldn't match up with the other graph for one. Uh, for scores, though, we're a pure zero to one. So I, maybe log isn't quite the right function. Uh, Yeah, that brings it down as it goes up. Uh, some of these have to be something else. That's approaching from the other direction. Uh, what is it? Is it um, x over x plus blah? Does indeed have an inner... Is it or something? It, it intercepts 0 0.5 at that point. Uh, one. Is that saying not quite there? Hmm. Yeah, so I'll just have that zero one problem. Otherwise, it's kind of the right curve. Uh, this is x squared, which goes that way. No, those are all in that direction. There probably is something that's Log scale uh, 
I'll use less than one. This is not possible. Greater than one, there's no concern using zero as a base point for the axis. Okay, this is a Google thing specifically, or Google Sheets. This is a very specific thing. Okay, yeah. And another very technology specific thing. This is not like a design technique or anything, or an alternate scale. Okay, that's exponential, that's logarithmic, just different log bases. Now what's square root? Uh, I did, oh, maybe I did negative one. Mm, is that not root? Maybe no. All right, compare. Okay, so I thought that something was equivalent to squaring. Oh, maybe it's um. What is sub-zero? Maybe it's x to like the 0 0.5? Yeah. And you can play with those numbers. So that has the, kind of the right domain. Uh, let's see, for notes per second, we're looking at like a 10. So that would either be a different base well, that's a much more sharper function. Uh, well, I guess you've got those. Let's go a little weird in their own way. So you have to be like, divide by wherever you want your maximum to be. And it seems to be somewhere around there. Might even have very much effect. That's a point five to, oh, that's a point five. It's way less than 0.5. Uh, where do you actually get to? That's almost pi. That would be a kind of rescaling. I guess flattening is going to have some of that effect. And then, um, oh no, zero to one, zero to one. You're actually fine. Let's need to go the other way. 
I'm not sure that'll actually be useful. Graph selection. This is be, must be about the point locations. So you're the one we're doing weird things to already. But what what's our math functions? We've got log. Maybe exp pow. What's exp? That's some sort of some sort of different. Okay, that's something else. M two E. Math dot pow. Point five, and we said divided by something around there. So that puts a two point seven around the middle. It's not too bad. Uh, makes this a little bit more complicated. Uh, you know what? This is this really needs to be. Uh, so was I doing local functions before? Uh, I did that notes per second scale. I don't remember if you can do local local functions. And we would also have a score scale. Went the wrong way on that. Okay, lower bound. Oop. And I didn't have to do anything that score bound. Ooh, that may have kind of gone the wrong way. Uh, I might have a really low dip on the random curve here. Doesn't seem super low. Oh, we're actually psh, limit zero. Okay, low point fifty percent. That feels like actually backwards.
Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the input range. So I, I almost want to like to do some kind of inversion on this. What would take us? I guess you could fl flip it and add. And then do plus one. I'm not sure if that's the best way to do that. Oh, uh, that's one minus, right? That doesn't feel right. And that's actually backwards. Uh, I might have to, if I'm flipping that, also flip X. Well, that seems, that seems really bad. Because that's only defined on, I don't know, it's, that's output negative. Makes it still the same shape. Maybe I got my plus and minus wrong. That would the minus would have accomplished a negative of that. Hmm. Well, yeah, it does move where zero is. So it's not and I want to do that kind of inversion. I want to do this kind of thing. That does put that around center. Ooh, we're excluding a lot of stuff now. And a lot of it from this round, too. Right, we've got wiggles and other things going in there. That does get that a bit more mid-range, and then as we progress, now we do kind of lose this linear association, which might which might be a, an intuition problem. But it's putting things near the center, which is nice. No, I don't see a point. I mean, it possibly ended up off the graph.
Yeah, so that balance looks a bit better. Uh, actually, here's an here's an interesting thing. Having having rescaled everything. Okay, so it simply are no super, super slow songs. In a way, that makes less use of the space because there's all that dead, dead space at the bottom. But that's like just all the like level one beginner things down there. Giant point cloud's kind of interesting. That would actually get us back to point to point equality. We could do set point. Uh, I'd still have to look up points and then find it and then make the target point bigger. It's still not really not clear what's going on there. Looks like some of our notes per second values are still going off the top. I mean, we kind of picked an arbitrary scale. We just think, well, Around 10 is, is insane. That gives you, well, this is only showing this round. So another exercise maybe for another day, is to try and figure out the minimum and maximum ranges of this for the entire game round and kind of do two different levels to get a sense where your overall selections are. So if we do that, We're back to, we can use set. Because every single point is there. Uh-oh. Or not. <laughs> oh, because you need an argument. Oh, wrong place. Then if we go look up ah, Oh, I'm in their file. And it doesn't like to go back to the same file, so we have to do this. Uh, to get a particular point, we already had to get data. Uh, but we had to get it elsewhere. And then this, we're going to have to do... Maybe this would be worth a second loop. So we only have to get the points once. Then again, we also have to go through a big list. So it's... Mm.
Uh, we can't only do this in that case. What was it? Set size. Okay, that's easier to see. Uh, Chris, I might actually want something in a square for that. We don't have draw ordering. I'd almost have to do like a second pass and draw these again. At this point, the set part part doesn't matter as much. Oh, but in order to get that particular point, I kind of have to have index equality. Or I overlay two graphs. Or I use alpha for the other points. So they don't show up as... Uh, I did brightness, and that's probably going to be some, some graphics processing. Oh, well, that makes, sense. that makes fun little clouds. Um, it does go against... Being able to pick those out a bit, though, because that can all add up now. There's only so much you can do about that. All right, so um, I think those are those probably are skipped on other rounds. Um, can we actually brighten that up? Let's blow it, blow it out. I think, I think there's one skipped there. Uh, it doesn't seem very much, no. Is that any different than you? Uh, maybe. But I might just have to, uh, how do I do custom colors? I think I've gotten away with mostly stock colors. Oh, the other thing I could do is animation. I forgot about that. Score, score point. Right, is that? Yeah, we're doing a little bit of a little bit of flash on there.
Uh, that was white. Uh, so this was oh this was doing size only. Uh, that's effect colors. So we would then have to do all of this logic again. Hmm. So maybe instead of these constant colors, man, and we only wanted this for current stage. So there's still, still a little bit going on there. And then we don't actually need to do these here. That's more glowing points than we should have, like a lot more. If it's selected and the stage is equal to this stage, oh, if it's selected or skipped, we do this stuff. Yeah, okay. If it's selected or skipped, it's a bigger point, but only the current ones glow. So if we're doing that, these could perhaps even be bigger as well. And really, even that is how do we have a selected point in the exclusion range? Oh, it was selected for something else, maybe? No, but only if its stage is equal to the current stage.
Uh... Okay, we've got white glowing points. Uh, this code should not be running. I wonder if it's influenced by the base color. In which case I need to do... these special cases again. We're having as much trouble with white. Okay, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing one of them kind of fade back to red. But its effect color seems to still be white. Red, red. Maybe effect color only adds color? And so it keeps over, over going into red. That was all to Four, maybe? <laughs> all right, so we got all our shifts probably still off. Oh, maybe I was having all the things glow white before. Uh, oh, right. Slow mode off. Yeah, that's black glowing white. So maybe effect color doesn't actually impact this. It's always white. Now, up here, oh, you know what? I did have these in a different order before. Maybe it needs to be on for that to care. Okay, it has to be in glow shift mode to care about the color. Uh, we could perhaps actually use a little bit more on that. Now, someplace else, color white, color blue, color white, color, eh, the red was the 0.80.1. Oh no, this is, I'm back. Um, this is a song list item. Color white, 6, 8. Oh, that was something else. Six eight red oh point red is eight one but it's still a different thing. All right, 
Uh, now, what about the base color? Does it does it matter? No, glow shift completely overrides the base color, so we don't need this. I think I may have liked you being a little bit darker. And I'm not sure about this one because we've got it off right now. So both of those still have a little bit of alpha going on. Which we should have completely replaced the alpha color. This is where some other shape might be nice. Okay, so that excluded something way off the charts. <laughs> That'll probably get excluded in every single round. Looks like, oh, we've got some exclusions from this round, which can on occasion cover things up. And everybody's skipping that one super hard song. <laughs> okay, that exploded a few more. But yeah, the limits are not excluding a lot. They're pretty much just picking difficulty levels among the songs. Yes, yeah, so that one got a really high set of settings. Let's go with some slow ones. All right, I'll give me a better sense of <clears throat> how filtering is actually working.
But it's actually not doing a, a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's throwing out this thing. It Maybe there was another skip song in here or there and it got picked up on the next round. I'm not actually showing all of the steps for this thing because we're only showing the ones that we ended up uh, rejecting, not anything that got sorted after it. Hmm. Well, it's getting on. I would like to eat lunch sometime. All right, so this was base code. We want to not be playing fake. We want to, I probably need less training when we load something, so that's another thing to consider. I never did do a checkpoint on this. Oh, do I still have uh, commented code here? Oh, we removed one of them. We still need access labels. better idea what's going on. Maybe that'll lead to some other idea about what to do about stuff. And then there's also um, access labels. Uh, trying to do the entire range of the entire session as far as getting a better sense of where all your where your settings are putting your overall selection range. If I'm doing that, I might need to show the other selections and rejections better. Let's see. Uh, that is it for now. Uh, normally I'll be back at coding on Friday morning. Let's see if I have anything to recommend. That's Rust programming. All right, and there is when I'm usually on. Today's a little bit late. All right, uh, probably need to get back to cutting some programming streams sometime. When I see Makings of Hero on, she's doing straight up game development. Uh, she's doing her own, uh, what's the right term? MOBA? <clears throat> and pretty much doing everything from models to for code from scratch. Uh, no, I need this one. Some place cool to hang out. That's some place cool to hang out. Thanks for hanging out with me. Goodbye, and until next time.